as you can see it is gloomy and rainy and nasty outside which I unfortunately think is going to be for about the next week so that's not fun um, quickly wanted to give you guys a little tiny update and then I'm going to stop talking about this until I know for sure everything else. Um, but I have my ultrasound today. Um, and then we spoke to the nurse yesterday just because like we've all been so anxious, me and my family and everything. And the nurse basically said that there are two more tests they're waiting to come back for. Um, and the one test, which is like a pretty big test, because that one test for like lymphoma um, and leukemia cells, I believe. Um, basically, everything she's seeing so far doesn't show any malignancy. Um, so from what she can see right now, it doesn't look like they have found any like, cancer cells, I believe. But again, we are waiting for two other important tests to come back, um, plus my ultrasound today. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. And that's how I'm going to leave it. She said, you know, she suspects by mid next week, everything should be back and the doctor should be passing along some notes to her um, to give me a call and give me some information because my next appointment is not until August 26th. So I at least won't have to wait until my next appointment to get some answers, hopefully. So keep your fingers crossed that the other tests come back good as well. And that's the latest update for right now on that. But what I really wanted to talk about today is I realized a few days ago in the midst of all of this that it's been almost six months. It'll be six months this month, um, if my math is correct anyway, that I have been on Monjaro on the 23rd. January 23rd is when I took my first dose and it's been six months. So I really would love if you guys left me any questions, left me comments and questions because I wanna do a six month update um, and I would love to answer questions for anybody, um, who maybe is like new to the drug, who's starting the drug or who has been on it for a while and just like, you know, I don't know, whatever questions you have about how I've been, what I've been doing on it, how it's been affecting me, um, that type of stuff. So I, it's crazy to think that about six months has passed since I've been on it. Um. A lot has obviously happened in those six months so I'm excited to like sit back down and kind of also re go over my journey just for myself to like remember everything because it definitely has been a you know life-changing six months so I'm excited about that I saw a bunch of comments yesterday on one of my Facebook groups about um, like, you know, how insurance is changing and all this stuff. And actually, something interesting did happen when I tried to refill the prescription I was at bound for my husband this last time for the month of July. Um, they, so I noticed that it was staying in processing with our pharmacy for a while. And I thought, huh, that's strange. It's been a little you know, longer than normal that it stays in processing. So I gave them a call and they said, oh yeah, your insurance is asking for a prior author, a new prior authorization. And I went, what? And I got nervous because I know that a lot of insurance companies are changing as of August to um, require a new prior authorization, at least from what I've heard. Um, but my husband and I have the same insurance and I thought that was strange because we're on the same plan. We literally go to the same doctor and I've been on it. I've been on Manjaro longer than he's been on Setbound. And I just refilled my prescription, no problem. And so I thought that that was kind of strange. So I called the insurance company because from our knowledge, um, 
our prior authorization is good for an entire year. So I thought that was weird. So I called the insurance company and she explained to me that it is not a prior authorization that they needed. They needed our doctor to fill out a quantity limit form because he's been staying on one dose for so long, which also still doesn't make sense to me because I have been on the same dose of Monjaro for longer than he has been on Zepbound. So I don't know if the difference is the fact that the Monjaro is for my diabetes and the Zepbound is just for weight loss. Maybe that is the difference. But either way, um, I had to send in a request for the doctor to put in a request with that quantity limits form and it was approved within like, I don't know, less than a day um, and he was able to get it. So I just thought that that was interesting um, because like we're on the same medication with the same doctor with this, well, essentially the same medication with the same doctor with the same plan and they wanted that from him but not from me. So I don't know. Um, also, another weird thing is that this month, I would I always go back and forth between two pharmacies because as we know, that shortage was going on, which at least where I'm at, it seems to be much better now. Let me know how it is um, where you guys live, but I always go back and forth between two pharmacies, basically whichever one has it at the time. And so I was supposed to get my medication on, I think it was... Monday um, I called they said yep we can order it it'll be here right on Monday for you no problem I said okay cool I got a call on Monday saying hey so actually if we order the medication today to be delivered for tomorrow which would be Tuesday um, we're able to order three at a time instead of just one at the time because it's showing that our you know facility has three boxes and I was like oh no that's okay because you know um I'll I you know I pay $25 a box or whatever and he was like no it's showing in here that the doctor put the quantity as three so if you want us to order those three boxes we can and it would only be you know your normal $25 and I went sound right to me but like I'm thinking in my head I'm not gonna say shit so I was like oh okay I was like yeah just go ahead and order them and you know if I only decide I want to take one then like I will and he was like all right no problem and I said to my sister I was like you know I, I bet this is a mistake like I bet I'm gonna get there they're gonna run it through the system and then they're gonna be like oh yeah no it's it's $25 per box long story short I get there and guess what bitch it was not $25 a box. So I got three boxes of five milligrams for $25. Um, and I don't know if that's because that's the way the doctor wrote the script this time around to say quantity three um, or what, but yeah, I feel good. So currently I have four boxes of five milligrams, full boxes sitting in my fridge. Um, Another thing I did kind of consider, though, is if I get three boxes, then that means I'm locked in to the five milligrams for at least three months. In my case, four months, because I've had that spare box um, for a while. So, my thought process is this. I don't see myself moving up anytime soon but say in two months I'm noticing either my sugars are getting not good or I'm gaining weight or I'm finding that um, I don't know just that I feel like the five milligrams isn't benefiting me anymore I'm pretty positive I can still go up to the 7.5 whenever I want um, and correct me if I'm wrong if you've been through this, but I'm pretty positive I'm still able to go up to that dose, um, even in like the middle of one of my lower doses. Does that make 
sense. Um, and I figured I would be silly to pass up on getting all three of the boxes at once um, for my, you know, monthly price of it due because of the shortage and in case it ramps back up again or whatever. So I just made whatever decision I felt was best for me. Um, and I did go ahead and get the, you know, five milligrams. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Um, all three boxes. So, um, I also have decided that I am skipping this full week. I was going to take, because I didn't take my shot like I told you guys on Tuesday, just because I, like, couldn't think straight Tuesday. Um, and then I was going to take it yesterday, but I still was kind of having a, or I was going to take it Tuesday, sorry. I'm, oh my gosh, can you guys tell that my brain is still all over the place? I was going to take it Wednesday because I didn't take it Tuesday, and then I ended up not taking it. And then I figured taking it tomorrow would be too close to taking it. I literally can't talk. Am I having a stroke? Let's start over. Didn't take it Tuesday. Was going to take it Wednesday. Didn't end up taking it Wednesday. Then figured if I took it yesterday, which is Thursday, it would be too soon to take again on Tuesday. And I want to... Did I say yesterday was Tuesday? <laughs> yesterday was Thursday. And it would be too soon to take it again on Tuesday. And I want to stick to taking it on Tuesdays. What is wrong with my brain? Um... So I decided I'm just going to skip the week. This is the first time in 20 something weeks that I've skipped a week. Um, and I feel like, okay, I don't feel any different currently. I don't feel like any, um, like bad habits have slipped back in or anything. So I think I'll be fine to wait. I am curious to see if I get like sick at all taking it again on Tuesday after skipping a week. But I think, you know, I don't think a week would make that, 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 that big of a difference. But, you know, I, I could be totally wrong. So if you have experience with this, definitely, uh, definitely let me know if you've skipped a week or anything. And when you took it again, did anything happen? <laughs> but that's really all I got today. Please, 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 if you have questions about my entire journey any part of it in the last six months leave them in the comments because I'll probably do that video my six month update I'd say maybe towards the end of this month and I yeah I'm excited to go back and I might even like go back and rewatch some of my old videos from the beginning just to like remind myself of you know, where I was mentally and physically and, um, you know, things that maybe I've forgotten over the last six months to kind of revamp and, uh, remind myself that way I have like more in-depth things to talk about. So yeah, again, thank you guys for everybody who has left such sweet comments on my last few videos, um, regarding, you know, the testing and the waiting and everything. Everybody's been really, really supportive and sweet and reading your comments um, and, you know, the people who were sweet enough to share their experiences with me and stuff, like, it really is so helpful. So I just wanted to say thank you and as always, I will keep you guys updated and informed um, and wish me luck today with my ultrasound and that we get good results from the tests that we're still waiting for. Have a great Friday.